Hello everybody, it's Victor Zarev here with Cardiac Wire, and I'm joined today by Rob Crumman from Vector Medical, uh, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what they do and their product. Yeah, thank you so much, Vic Victor. I'm so excited to talk about Vector Medical. We're a company, as you know, that's dedicated to revolutionizing arrhythmia care, and our product, uh, VMAP, is the only AI-powered, non-invasive arrhythmia mapping solution on the market. And why we're here at HRS 2025 is for two reasons. One, to redirect the conversation back to patient uh, outcomes. So we've talked a lot about PFA and other technologies. And today, we're excited to talk about how do we use those technologies to improve outcomes for patients. Wonderful. Uh, do you have any clinical studies coming up about your technologies? Yeah, I'm so glad you asked. So we announced just a few days ago that we're launching the Improved AF study. And it's a international uh, multi-center randomized control study looking at outcomes for patients with persistent and recurrent AF. And could you tell me a little bit about what your ideal outcomes or goals would be for that study? Yeah, so it's, it's great you asked. So again, as I talked about before, we really want to refocus on patient outcomes. How do we get the, the efficiencies that we've been talking about with pulse field ablation and the safety factor, but also extend those benefits to the patient? And so what we mean is how do we get the patient into a state where they're no longer burdened by their arrhythmia, by their atrial fibrillation in a single procedure? Or if we have to come back in a redo situation, how do we make that redo pr that procedure as effective as possible? Do you have any insights on what kind of challenges uh, could contribute to the risk of reoperation that Vector Medical helps address? Yeah, so it's, it's great. So one of the key questions in recurrent and persistent and redo ablation, uh, particularly in AF, is what do I ablate after I've uh, isolated the pulmonary veins. So we all know that the standard of care is to isolate the pulmonary veins. Mm -hmm. Doctors go back and if they find all that the veins are isolated, what do I do now? Right. What, what's the next insight? And that's what our, our technology is able to do. It's super exciting. We take an old technology, which is ECG, and around 100 years, and we've gotten really, really far with that. But now we're using computational intelligence. It can see things that we can't see and give us insights we've never had before. Well, Rob, that's all very exciting, and I'm looking forward to the results of Improve AF and to see where you guys are going to go next. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your time today. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Learned a lot. Take care, everybody. Thank you.